As is the tradition of this church, when we have lost a member of our congregation, we extinguish a candle. On May 31st, Louise Heinemann, longtime and beloved member and wife of Donald Heinemann, who we lost last year, passed away. She was an extraordinary woman and a strong and vibrant presence here in our community, and she will be greatly missed. We extinguish a candle on our altar in recognition of this loss. May our love extend to her family and wrap them in that love. I'd like to welcome any visitors that are joining us for the first time today, both in our sanctuary and online. We uh, welcome you. Make sure you have your order of service that will guide you through our service, as well as let you know any announcements that you're welcome to join in. Please have a cup of coffee and enjoy our courtyard. This Sunday is our annual meeting, so coffee hour might be a, not as robust as usual as our members need to check in to be part of the democratic process, which is one of our values. All decisions are made by the members of this congregation. There is no pope or guru who calls the shots. We might think there is, but there's not. For our members and other friends who want to be at the meeting, you will sign in at the doors at TSK and enter the room. I'd like to invite Dolores and David up to make an announcement. Hello again, dear friends. David and I were so honored to be asked to be co-chairs of the pledge drive for this fiscal year 2023-24. We want to tell you how much we appreciate all of you who helped make this year's annual giving effort a success. The 175 member households and the almost 30 new members and guests who pledged this year. Because of your generosity, we now have raised 735,000 of our 755 $750,000 goal as a reflection as a reflection of this effort we want to show our thanks to our members new friends and visitors who pledged this year so today after service and before our annual meeting you are all invited to a special luncheon in the Martin Luther King Room hosted by the Stewardship Committee. Then for dessert, the Membership Committee will bring a special cake for all of us to enjoy and to add to the celebration. We are grateful for your generosity and support of this unique community. You made the continued work, hope, and dreams for the future of this congregation possible. See you at the luncheon. Thank you. Thank you so much, David and Dolores, for spearheading that effort. We're so grateful for your contribution. Even if you're going to the lunch, we are asking that you only enter lunch after first checking in at TSK. Please don't circumvent that process. We will try to make check-in swift, okay? Now, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge all those who made our religious education for children and youth possible this year. Without them, our program would not have thrived the way it did. I would not have had the support that I needed, and we, our children would not have blossomed as much as they did this year. So if you will uh, entertain me for a moment. Our Family Ministry Committee members would please rise, led by Sarah Faree, Courtney Young-Law, Harry Morin, Simi Cover, Danielle Cronenberg, and Sam Hamner. Thank you so much for your support this year. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you so much to Courtney and Harry, who led and worked with the transition, both of the pandemic and the transition of ministry. I'm so grateful for your, your um, participation and your support during that process for our children, our youth, and our families. So grateful. They will be rotating off, as well as Sam Hamner will be rotating off, and we'll be having um, Jay Gupta and Robert Jumonoville joining us on the committee. So, For the volunteers in our classrooms, if you could please rise. Cinnamon Anderson, Harry Arthur, John Alden, Allison Block, Jayanti Chapeau, Cheryl Daner, Sarah Faree, Christina Hamner, Sam Hamner, Robert Jumonoville, Carolyn Kahoot, Daniel Cronenberg, Danielle Cronenberg, Vicki Lang, Harry Morin, Miriam Morin, Ruth Wong, Teresa Goebel, Simi Cover, and Faye Yi. We needed <laughs> all of you. All of you made our classrooms possible this year. And I forgot one name on that list Vanessa Southern. She also stepped in. She was with our high schoolers while I was in here with you one Sunday. So thank you, Vanessa, as well. To all those who led all ages workshops, Maddie Gerlach, Erica Murray, Andre Glace, Louise Disregard, Disregard, and Theta Burke, thank you so much for your help and opportunities that you provided our children and youth. And then we had several events this year in Hannah Hart, Chris Law, Courtney Young Law, Mark Furry, and Christine Patch Lindsay, amongst many others, also helped with those. So thank you so much for that. And then we had two really super volunteers that were here almost every single Sunday with our middle schoolers Sam King and Helen Everbach. Is Helen here? I don't see Helen. Oh my gosh, they did amazing work. They were here almost every Sunday and I'm so grateful for them. We also had somebody from Faithful Fools that came in and met with our middle school and high schoolers, Selena Lane. She's not here, but let's send our love to her. It was wonderful to have her presence. And then, of course, I couldn't do this without our amazing religious education staff who aren't in here because they're either taking care of children or setting up for the RE end of year party. And that's Bernasia Cates, Connor Shinnam, and Alicia Cover. Yeah. So thank you so much to all who helped make the program lively and wonderful. I'm so grateful. Now is our time to greet one another. And we have a little twist in it today. If you have flowers to add to our bouquets, please come up and place them in the vases as you do so and then continue to greet each other. Welcome. <laughs> 